and we don't know anything about the films. This is nothing to do with the new film. The box says Homecoming. <laughs> this is nothing to do with the new film. But I just thought, this is everything to do with the new film. <laughs> And welcome back to the Geek Week in Review with me, Jacob's Toys, and of course, the wonderful one and only Super Sorel. Um, as always, if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the show, please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. And if you are listening on the podcast, then please don't forget to check out the links and check out each of our channels respectively. Um, obviously, Super Sorel's channel is down below in the links as well. Do make sure to give him a follow. The guy does some amazing videos. So, Sorel, um, where do we start? I mean, what a week. Busy week. What a week. Busy week. Lots going on. Lots going on. Um, as we said previously uh, in conversation, you know, there wasn't any Black Series reveals this week. No, they think- no Black Series. They had quite a few the week before, didn't they? Uh, mm. So it was quite Black Series heavy. Um, but we did have a little bit of Star Wars news as well. So let's let's start with Star Wars and then make our way mm. over to the Marvel side. Yeah. Um, so obviously the first big announcement I think that we should touch on is uh, the Ezra and Thrawn castings yes. uh, for the live action. Um, excellent choices, I think. Very excellent choices. I mean, Lars Mikkelsen is such a good choice. Uh, it just makes sense to use him as Thrawn. <laughs> Of yeah. course it does. Of course it does. I He's, think one of them really surprising things is that even though he provided the voice um, in obviously the the animations, he he looks like the character as well. It's 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 going to work, isn't it? And it's, it is. And I think the even if I mean, the, it's obviously going to be in heavy prosthetics and stuff because he's blue and you know, different. Of course, people. the fact that it's just I think the voice after after watching Rebels, that is the voice in my head when I read back the books now. Mm. It's that voice that I hear. That slow yeah. methodical Ezra, that sort of like really posh voice. Yeah. And he, I think he's going to do well at that. And the live action version of him is going to be awesome. Because he originated in the books, didn't he? That character, that character. Yeah, so he's in Heir to the Empire. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I must those... admit, I've not read them. I'm mm. aware of the kind of storylines, but I've not actually sat down and read them. Yeah, I read them when I was like in high school, I think. <laughs> so that was a long oh, time amazing. ago. <laughs> but yeah, Air to the Empire made they made three books. I think it was three books out of that. And then when mm-hmm. Disney took over, obviously they they wiped out Legends uh, as we know mm-hmm. it. And then everyone was so excited when they brought him back for Rebels. And then Disney themselves made three books, which is very cool oh, as right, well. Okay. And there's a a section of one of the newer books that takes place actually on Batu as well, which is the Galaxy's Edge thing. Oh, uh, amazing! Anakin, uh, well, Darth Vader, well, he's still being called Anakin at that point. Anakin um, and Thrawn basically have to go and hunt down. Oh, who was it? Uh, the person who ends up basically uh, that Doc Andar who runs the lights, who has all the lightsabers and stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So there's a guy I called Doc Andar. He, he owns one of the, yeah, yeah. He owns one of the shops on Batu. Basically, he's one of the animatronics behind the counter. He's like mm-hmm. an alien thing, and they're hunting him down. Basically, in the book, it's very cool. Uh, I'm going to have to pick them up and read them. I'm looking for something new to read. So I might, I might have to go back and and pick those up. Um, But obviously he's a huge fan favorite and became such a big um, fan favorite as a character. I mean, he's definitely one of my favorite kind of baddies, if you like in, in the star Wars universe. Um, So I'm really, really excited to see him in the live action. Um, And obviously they cast Ezra as well. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm really happy that uh, that we're going to see Ezra again. I'm glad that this story is not over. So obviously mm-hmm. that, although it, it do, kind of cheapens his ending a little bit, but I'm glad he's coming back, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was, it, the end of Rebels for me was, it, it was almost like a perfect ending. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The way that it kind of finished up and then they did that little jump forward, didn't they? And you kind of saw where everyone was. And I just thought it was really beautifully written, especially for like an animation and a, and a TV show. Mm. Um but it did leave me kind of wanting to know what happened, happened and, and obviously yeah. that's that's what we're going to get. And I, I, I forget the name of the the actor, but it's the the guy that plays Aladdin in the live action. Um, and he's obviously been been uh, hinted at as playing Ezra for for quite some time through rumors and stuff. But I think you know aesthetically he fits the part. I think that he'll do it justice. He's going to look like a, an aged version of of Ezra. Um, so I'm really excited to see where that goes. Yeah, um, I, bl- I believe the actor's called um, is it Mena Masood, I think he's called. Menemus, yes. Menemus, that's Masood. Um, Menemus, yeah. 
Yeah, he was the live action Aladdin, which also for me, as we were talking about before we started recording, he's very cool because when Rebels first came out, a lot of people did compare Ezra to Aladdin in a lot of ways. And the fact they used the word street rap in the first ever episode. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were, Disney were heavily pushing that like, this kid's like Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's like your space Aladdin. No. He's your face Aladdin, <laughs> wasn't he? So, I mean, the fact that they've used that actor in is very clever casting, in my opinion. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna feel familiar. It's gonna feel familiar again because that whole they're going back on mm-hmm. that whole like vibe of you. You know this kid already. He's like like Aladdin sort of thing, and then they're doing it yeah. again with the live action. That makes sense, and he looks it's the brilliant. part. And the the rumor I heard as well is that these these two have been cast for not only Ahsoka but for Mandalorian season three. So the the, the story arc is going to cross over mm. in the two, I think, uh, which is very interesting. I think that's interesting. a interesting piece of information because that mm. would mean that obviously Mando season three is going to tie in with Ahsoka somehow. I would have thought, or whether it would just be their storylines that cross over. Who knows? But can you imagine if the first episode of Ahsoka is actually the ending for rebels where basically you just it just cuts from black to showing these to, to showing Lars Mikkelsen and Ezra like surviving on some planet and they've been there some time waiting to be saved and that would be cool that, that would, would be, be cool awesome. I, I wonder as well whether um because it makes me think of did, did you ever see the I think it was Dennis Quaid I think the old old film called Enemy Mine did you ever no, see that no, old no, sci-fi so. film in a nutshell basically there's an alien race and there's the human race and they you know they're at each other and all the rest of it but then these two soldiers get like deserted on this planet together Mm. and obviously they spend the first couple of years trying to kill each other and then eventually they have to work together and um you know they need each other to survive and then it, it so much time passes that they become like best friends Mm. and then spoilers but i mean this film came out in the 80s but essentially the alien character then has a a a child because it's you know like asexual or whatever it is that it can reproduce its own and it has a child and then dies and then dennis quaid i'm sure it's dennis quaid um like looks after this child and kind of raises it as his own and then he gets rescued by these humans and obviously they're straight away going oh look it's this species and it's just this and straight away when i heard that these two had been cast i thought i wonder if it's going to go down the same route where these two have been kind of propelled into space somewhere they're trying to fight each other for so long and then eventually they need each other to survive and then when we pick up the story in the live action they're actually not friends but allies Mm. Um, i think that would be a really interesting i don't think the fans would necessarily want that from from thorn but it would be an interesting story, definitely. So I've got a feeling that if they're bringing Thrawn back, they've cast Lars, Lars because to play him. I've really got a feeling that they're gonna, they've got more plans for Thorn, maybe his own series. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's just wishful thinking that he's going to become some good guy and he's going to become a rebel. And <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm obviously that was the big news. Yeah, I was going to say as well that it would be, it's going to be very thing as well because. Um, I, I really hope in Mandalorian three we do. We, it's not. I hope we haven't seen the last of of uh, Grogu. I hope something comes mm. of this and we end up finding out a bit more about how the hell that little baby survived Order sixty six. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was that. I, was it? I don't know whether it was like fan art or whether it was something, but there was a poster that was doing the rounds of Luke mm-hmm. and Grogu like building the lightsabers. Did you see that? That would be cool. Yeah. Have you I, Have you seen the I picture? Seen it. No. Really, no. It's a really cool picture. And I don't know if it was like an official Star Wars thing or whether it was like one of these kind of boss logic kind of things where it was like, mm. you know, concept art. But but it's essentially like the, the Luke that we saw at the end of Mando um, and Grogu, like not aged for anything. And they're doing the whole kind of building the lightsaber using the force. That yeah, was cool to look at. Yeah, because did you see that the, um, the, the per- there was somebody on the internet that took the ending of uh, that that scene with luke at the end and they did mm. a better job at cgiing the face than disney did <laughs> yes. and he got hired yeah. disney hired and then he him. got a job <laughs> yeah it was like because <laughs> he deep faked it, it. Yeah. He, did a, yeah. he did a deep fake rather than a cgi it was a deep fake of actual yeah. uh mark hamill so yeah, yeah that makes sense. it was amazing uh, imagine the guys uh, <laughs> like disney game yeah, they, they've about done us on it we need to give this guy a job <laughs> like that's brilliant i love hearing stories like that though um but yeah, I'm I'm the same. I hope that we've not seen the end of that. It's it's obviously tricky because we don't want it to turn into the Luke Skywalker show, and it you know mm. it 
there's the danger of that, but it would definitely be, I'd definitely like to see him revisit. I think it has to happen because it's such a huge element of what Mandalorian story was, isn't it? You know, being that mm. parental kind of figure. So I'm sure it'd have to, and obviously it has to tie into the book of Boba Fett as well somehow. Mm-hmm. So oh, with, the fact a, that, with the fact that Dave Filoni has already mentioned, he wants to get his hands on revenge of the Sith. That is honestly oh, in a nutshell. So, I mean, yeah, is he going to, uh, could they do something with that where you actually see, I'd love to see like something where somebody basically, not all these kids just laid down the swords and got killed by Anakin. I'd love the fact that if somebody fought back and then they protected that Grogu and helped him yeah. escape and then there's another Jedi kicking about the galaxy that we don't know about that yet. Be, that would be brilliant and so easy to write in as well. Yeah. That, that would be incredible. You literally see that scene from a different angle. Mm. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. And that, that particular scene, there's so many kind of memes and that isn't there made of that particular scene yeah. that it would kind of pull the rug under, from out from underneath that because it would give it a different angle. So yeah, no, 100%. Um, yeah, I think that was it for the kind of live action element of it. Yeah. Um, obviously, we had Bad Batch as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Episode 13, 14? 14. 14. Wow, they're getting through that quite, quite quickly. So there's less episodes to come now than we've already had. Yes. Is that correct? And I still don't know where this is going. <laughs> No, um, obviously, again, you know, spoilers, but, you know, the episode finished with, with Hunter in, in custody, shall we say, and mm. coming face to face with Crosshair, which was cool. I was quite pleased to sort of see that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, but it felt like that. It felt like it was setting up a lot of things that there was a lot of, yeah. You need to hear this bit and you need to see this and this is taking place just so that it's going to lead to something maybe. Yeah, it was like it was a bit like a bit of a quieter filler episode, but you needed to see it to see where it's going to go for the next half sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, I think the most intriguing bit for me was definitely the the Rex element where we saw him for a very short amount of time and he said, oh, I can't even talk yet. I've got to do something and then literally kind of runs runs off, mm-hmm. doesn't he? And I, I want to see, I think we'll see the other side of that at some point, whether it's in Bad Batch or... Ahsoka, I don't know, whatever, but I think we'll see what's happening there. Well, we still need to, I mean, when we, when we pick up in Rebels is with McGregor and Wolf, but we haven't actually seen McGregor and Wolf yet in this no. series. So no. they're still and they look about somewhere and they're obviously, yeah. they've, they've, they've removed their chips as well. Yeah. I did think at the beginning when he was saying that there's a, there's a clone of, or a brother of mine, or I can't remember mm. how you worded it, that needs some help. I thought it was going to be one of those two. That yeah, they were going to save, and it was like, oh, there's two of the, two of the three, but it wasn't. I think it was an awesome opportunity for them to, to have kind of started putting that story in place. But I don't know, maybe they got mm. bigger ideas, bigger ideas. But, but yeah, it was all right. I, I enjoyed it. I think that there was definitely, you know, there's definitely elements that that are going to lead onto something else. Like 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 you said previously, all the stuff with the the clones and the the cloners. I can't remember what they're called. That race. I can't no, I can't. The, 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 the minions, long necks. Minions, minions. The, yeah, yeah, the long necks of little <laughs> head people. Um, I'm glad that they're a big part of this though, because obviously we only we, they were in the films, but they weren't. Mm. There wasn't a huge focus on what their kind of life was, and there's you definitely get a better feel of who they are as a as a race, as a as a people, as such. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but it was it was interesting to see the kind of the dynamics there as well, and the, the kind of rebel elements of their their setup so yeah i enjoyed it I enjoyed it's just every it, but it's... every time we hear every time someone says the, them cloners i just hear that is it dex i hear, oh yeah i just hear his voice in my head cloners. <laughs> what do you know that's it that is it love him yeah i don't know i don't know um but yeah i think anything else star wars that was it it was a it was more of a marvel week should we say yeah, that was definitely still different. Cool. Right. Still no news about the uh, rancor, is there? That's still gone oh. quiet, and I <laughs> think we all probably... forget before the uh, Hasbro pull thing. Yeah, I think that that'll probably come out either after the, as part of the PulseCon thing, or after the Galactus has kind of come and gone, um, and then mm. they'll launch that one. Um, but I just want to see some product shots after what we were talking about a couple of weeks back. I just want to see some official photographs yeah. to kind of figure out how it looks and how it fits into the collection um so yeah so marvel marvel's where it was this week isn't it um poor, where, where should we start i think the first thing that kind of leaked 
shall we say, or was was not leaks as such, but kind of surfaced was definitely mm-hmm. Lego. Um, and we saw the uh, Lego uh, minifigure blind bags uh, Marvel series. Um, yep. And it was a nice little setup. I was, yeah. I was really pleased to see which ones are included. I like the half and half. The fact that it's half from the sort of like MCU television stuff and then the other half from the what if sort of mm. banner. So it, it, it covered all bases of what, of what we've seen so far, which is good. Yeah, there was a good spread of kind of characters and coverage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was really pleased. And I'm, I'm a big Lego fan. I've, you know, I like my Lego sets and I like my minifigures and stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I'm pleased that they've done them. And what's quite interesting as well is that normally with these kind of, let's take the Harry Potter ones, for example, they've done a lot of Harry Potter minifigures in the past yeah. and they're not quite the Harry Potter versions that you want to see because those ones are all included in sets. So they'll yes. be like Harry in a bizarre outfit or some <laughs> character that's been in one film or like, you know, ran one potions class or something. Um, whereas this, they are all the main players, aren't they? They're yeah, all the main players. Main they're character. all the main characters. Yeah. So um, it'll be interesting to see if there are any sets that accompany it and that, that do come out. Um, I haven't really kept my, my finger on the pulse when it comes to the Lego stuff this side of it, apart from the, uh, the Spider-Man kind of leaks that came out a little while ago. So, they they surfaced um, they did. and then that kind of that kind of gave me and you the inkling did it because I, I said to you last week that, mo- that as soon as they leaked i said to you it's going to be it's going to definitely be a what if a, you, yeah you did call it you did call it i think we mentioned it a few weeks ago that that mm. was one of our guesses um but yeah you 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 put your money down and said no it's gonna be what if and then it the ball started rolling didn't it and then after lego we obviously saw um it was funko next wasn't Fun- it the funkos yeah funkos dropped right. after you take this away because this is your this is your <laughs> side isn't it so yeah the funkos dropped and the they they showed us the regular lineup then all the exclusives including party fall which looks yes. bizarre and amazing, but I want it. Um, uh-huh. But then, obviously, they all dropped with the T'Challa Starlord, which I've managed to already find in Smiths, available it right is. now, ten pounds. <laughs> that is, it does look quite cool, though. I, it it's does. basically Star Lord with a purple jacket. <laughs> They've yeah. gone for the purple colours rather than the red, and yeah, he and does his, look pretty cool. His hair as well. He's got like, that afro kind of hair. Yeah, he's got the top, the afro hasn't he? top. Uh, so we've got that. Then they get, uh, they also released the Doctor Strange Supreme, which I found as well at Smith. So it's the Supreme version of Doctor Strange. He's Very looking nice. cool. What what um, ones are on the back? Sorry. So on the back, whew, I'm not sure if you can. See, I'm trying to get the rid of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can so, see that. So we've got good. we've got the six inch Hydra Stomper, T'Challa Star Lord, Captain Carter, Gamora, the daughter of Thanos, and the Doctor Strange Supreme. But I like the fact that okay. on every box as well, they've put the Watcher's logo. Oh, yeah. So they've got, the nice. they got the Watcher in the bottom right corner. Yeah. And then today, today I managed to find the Hydra Stumper. And he's a That's big bad boy, a, six inch job. That, that is cool. That is cool. And, and is after, it- so after watching a couple of things, uh, I believe it's spoilers, massive spoilers. I believe it's Steve Rogers inside of it. Because yeah. obviously in the what if world, he never got the super soldier serum, Captain Carter. No. So and I don't know. I'm sure I saw a clip of him <laughs> opening the roof of it. Yeah, that's, the, I'm sure that's the image I that surfaced. That, at some point. that image surfaced, and I used it in my video this week because the moment it went online, Disney put this thing out saying, What if is launching? Get the pop vinyls, the Legos, the they put this big thing right. out, and then all of a sudden they removed it, and that the, the thing came out again, but without that spoiler without the Steve Rogers face. It was just Captain ah. Carter holding the shield up. Because I think I, was the one say, I thought I was going mad. I really yeah. thought I was going mad. Cause I'm like, people are asking on the internet. Oh, I think it's, I think it's Steve Rogers and oh, it's there's somebody in the suit and all this. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm sure I've seen this. I'm sure I've seen an image of him, like almost like a tank, like lifting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, it's the, the it's just like a big tank and he's lifted up. I'm guessing, mm. I'm guessing obviously Howard Stark built it. Iron Man's dad, yeah. and dad, wherever it is. Yeah, um, of course. So I'm guessing Starks build it, but yeah, the Hydra Stumper. So I was really yeah. happy with that. And, and is uh, that? Yes. I mean, I, I'm not as I'm not as clued up on my Funkos, but are the six inches? They're literally just bigger versions. There's they're not articulated any differently. No, no, just it's just they're just larger Funkos. They're just still exactly the same, um, except they cost you about five pound extra. <laughs> but GameStore oh, right, okay. right now, GameStore are offering twenty percent off all Funkos right now. 
So me and me and my brother both managed to get the Hydra Stomper, and we managed to get it was like two for thirty quid with twenty percent off. So absolute Result. bargain, absolute bargain. Result. I must admit, I'm not. I've said this to you previously. I'm not massive on my Funkos. I think mainly because the addicted, the addiction element. I think would get too much for me, and I think if I got too many, I would end up with just a, another set like this behind. Um, but there's, I think, are they called black light ones that have come out yeah. recently? The yeah. Marvel, they do look quite tasty. It's I not must just admit. Marvel they, that they've released. They've, so far, they've done Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars. It's like a, it's like a Disney brand one that they're doing because you just can all get at like, once. Yeah, but then then recently they've released the Harley Quinn now. So DC are doing this. The Funko is doing the DC range in the black light as well. So oh, you can wow. get all sorts of different characters all in that same style, which is very cool. Well, I saw somebody I saw somebody post a video, and I think they picked it up in somewhere like Tesco's or Asda, and it was a Spider Man like box set with a T shirt and everything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that tickles my fancy a little bit. It's like a black light Spider Man Funko on the front and the T shirt, and then the little figure as well. So. I just I don't want to come across one in the shop because I, I think I'll end up picking it up. <laughs> so I'm um, just watch this space. Maybe, maybe. One thing I know I know we've moved on from Star Wars, but the other last thing that I picked up this week that got me really excited is the fact that we've now got Wrecker um, in the Toy Box series. Nice. So they've gone the gate about a week ago. About no, about yeah, about a few weeks ago, we got Ahsoka and Rex in the series. But they were yes. called. They were from the Clone Wars ones. Obviously, Wrecker is Bad Batch, so obviously they're going to give us the rest of the Bad Batch in this style. So I'm happy about that. I of love the Toy Wars. They're going to. They are cool. I think we've said this before. I mean, I, there is something aesthetically pleasing, like to look at. Mm. Like they really do. They really do look cool. Um, but they've they've rolled them out. What are the uh, what are the little figures called? The um, that come with like the vehicles and stuff, and they're about oh missions. Mission, mission fleet, fleet or something, yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, they've done a bad batch set of that, haven't they? Yeah, um, they, they bring out the, the the ship. It's going to be the ship with all the characters on it, which is very yeah. cool. Except, except Echo, you've got to buy Echo separately. Obviously, that's bizarre. That's bizarre. It's but, it's to make you, know. you buy more, isn't it? Because everyone's going to want to complete course. the series. So, of course, of course. So yeah, I'm sure that, that we're going to get the bad batch across all of their toy ranges yeah. but it is cool to see them and he launches i think he lands this month i think with the black mm-hmm. series as well yeah. i think it's this month that he'll, he'll land so all fingers crossed or all, all being good with shipping and stuff um all right so that was the the funko stuff and then obviously we had um the marvel's fan first yeah. wednesday which was you know um sort of out of nowhere that they were going to do another one on a wednesday which which made sense because obviously the last one was all about galactus um and I suppose while we're on Galactus, still not been funded. Yeah, still not met the target. Nope. Uh, last time I checked, it was around the 10,000 and something. Um, and I, I think I worked it out. I think I said to you earlier, I think I worked it out that they needed over 100 backers a day before the end in order to to meet it. But I think mm-hmm. it's definitely over the hill now. I think it's it, it, it looks like it's going to meet it. There's, there's more than enough time for... So he's now for on for them to get that. 10,287 is now on. Okay. So there's not, what's that? 3,800 3, that they need left? 3,700 yeah. and something? There's 29 days, two hours and 24 minutes. And that's, that's not a lot of backers, really, when you think about it. Three, mm. just under 4,000 backers left in, in a month. You know, it's not, it's not a lot of people. It's going to get, it's going to get backed. Um, but I don't think they're going to hit a lot, a lot of the tiers. They might hit a tier or two. Um, but I think there's quite a few people that are actually sitting back thinking it's going to, it's going to meet the back in mm. and I'm going to wait to see what the tier is and then I'll hit purchase. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the, I think that they tried came to out on the that. Friday, obviously, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think they tried to do that the last Friday when they were trying to go, bear in mind guys, this is what you're going to get. And it was like, they were really yeah. selling it, wasn't they? It didn't, it, and they, they did a big part of it as well, because obviously we're leading on to the Wednesday uh, announcements, but they, they did a whole section on Galactus mm. as well, didn't they? Um, but it didn't really boost the numbers that much. Uh, I, I was kind of checking afterwards. It didn't do a, a huge amount. Um, but then obviously they went on to release their their figures, and I think what I was personally really pleased about is I hadn't seen any of these leaked anywhere. No, um, these were all brand new, weren't they? Yeah, I hadn't seen them leaked anywhere. Um, so obviously it was the the what if. Um and they were calling it the uh, the Disney Plus Wave Two mm-hmm. uh was the kind of official title they gave it because obviously we'd already seen the Sylvie figure. 
Um, and that's part of this wave, which I was shocked at, actually, because... Yeah, I, I would... <laughs> I know people hate the word exclusive, but I almost, I almost wish she wasn't exclusive and they filled that hole with somebody else from the What If series because she looks so I out was of the place. Same. Yeah, I was the same. And when they, they announced her, and then it was only a couple of weeks later and they announced the Mobius, didn't they? Mm. Um, and I thought, okay, they're doing two kind of, you know, exclusives, you know, a Walgreens and a Target or whatever. That's what um, I thought, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. But then when they announced that she was part of this wave, I was kind of like, well, it kind of doesn't make it a what if wave. It does make it a Disney Plus wave, but she doesn't fit. So no. give us another another character. Um, but we'd obviously seen her already. Um, and surprisingly as well, she comes with a builder figure piece. <laughs> Out of all the ones in the wave, I thought she'd be the one that didn't. But she does come with a builder figure piece. Um, obviously, the uh, the builder figure, should we, should we touch on that first? Or should we go to that? Yeah, yes, yeah, so the builder figure, with that obviously being the uh, the Wanderer. Uh, um, the watcher watcher the watcher the watcher sorry the the watcher. <laughs> the, the i wanderer. prefer wanderer though <laughs> <laughs> the wanderer, um, the watcher. i think it's official names were watu isn't it what watu yeah, watu spelt, spelt funny isn't it mm. um what were your thoughts i well I, you kind of i kind of expected it because he's he is the when we saw the first ever teaser about the 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 the, the universe, the what if, mm-hmm. uh, he was the big thing, wasn't it? It was his head that these they used the yeah. little like yeah, they sort of like zoomed into his eye or something and showed us the world. Yeah, you can see. So I kind of expected it to be honest, but it's it's good that they're doing it. And obviously, they're going up. They're going to be going up against the Diamond Select one. So yeah, that, it's funny you mention that because obviously that one was like you know so hard to get hold of wasn't it on mm. the second second house, secondary market it was so hard to get hold of and the price was like over the hundred hundred mark you know dollars or pounds wherever you found it um, and then all of a sudden every single retailer had stock coming in didn't they mm. at one point everyone dropped it at the same time that stock's coming in it'll be in in october like pre-order it now um at retail price and everyone went mad for it because they were like wow like it's the watcher like etc etc um and then obviously marvel legends have dropped this one so my I still prefer thing is, look. Yeah, but my thing is, shouldn't it be taller? Well, I'm not sure how large yeah. the bath's going to be, but in the comics, from what I remember, he was massive. Yeah, well, they said on the live stream that he's about, I think they said about eight and a half, but maybe mm. nine with the, the collar, about eight and a half, nine inches tall. So he's, he's going to stand head and shoulders above the figures, mm. but I... I always, whenever I saw the comics, I always saw him as a, almost like an apocalypse, t- apocalypse type figure that his yeah. size varied and it depended who he was talking we to. Was and that. Yeah, he can make himself change. Because if you, if you remember in the MCU as well, we saw that Stan Lee. Yes, we did. Credit. Was it after credits? And he was yeah. sat there talking to him, wasn't he? And at that point, he, they weren't that much bigger. They were probably around the, the builder yeah. figure size. Um, but then you look at the diamond select one and his head is huge in comparison to his body. Like it's like mm-hmm. a proper balloon like, cartoon network kind of like head, isn't it? Like, um, and I think I prefer the look of the diamond select one. I, Me too. I, I, I need to see the Marvel legends one in hand. And obviously I think I've said this before, but I think the, the figures always look a lot better than the initial <coughs> sort of promo images. Um, but I, I still like the oversized head and the, mm-hmm. the kind of flowing white robes and stuff. So well, that's the comic book version, this... isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Obviously, the, the one they're making is going to be the one that we're going to see in, in the MCU. So it's going to be slightly yeah. different. Yeah. So so that was obviously the, the builder figure. Um, so let's let's go through the figures. So the first one, obviously, was we'll go to T'Challa, to, to Star-Lord, because mm-hmm. you've shown the Funko. Um now we discussed this last week, didn't we? That whether they were going to be animated style or yeah, real. Um, and you know, you raised a good point, saying that you know they've got the casts already, and you know the molds. Mm. Like, why would they go for something different? And they did. <laughs> they they went against our better judgment and went for yeah. the animated look. This to me kind of raised two problems. Like, I, I was pleased that they did because it matches what it is that we're going to see. But for mm. me as a collector. It's now going to stand out in my collection in comparison because it doesn't quite fit with comic book and it doesn't quite fit with MCU. It's kind of a place no, of its own, like those Spider Verse, the uh, like the Miles Morales figures that they released a little while back. 
being uh, just to be the devil's advocate being there you know we know what kind of a company hasbro can be when they want to be um have they mm-hmm. done this on purpose so that they can sell as mcu versions of these figures later down the line possibly possibly well, obviously we've the- got like there is the there is going to be a um doc, there's doctor strange spider-man t'challa and captain carter so there's four mm-hmm. mcu heads that people could technically just go oh i'll get that head and i'll make my own figure and so yeah. obviously that's yeah. That's stopping us doing that now. It's going to be, yeah, I think that we'll end up seeing that. The The other thing I think that, that annoyed me as a, as a black series collector as well, is mm-hmm. I was kind of like, why is it that Marvel, have, like the guys at Marvel have been able to go, that's an animated show. So we're going to give you an animated head. But then the guys over at Star Wars kind of go, that's an animated show, but we're going to make it look realistic. So you can stand it next to your movie figures. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, the same, same company is kind of doing two different things. Um, they do but, run completely different. It always surprises me. They say they're all under yeah. one umbrella. The teams don't seem to mix at all. Though. They're, they're very separate entities. Yeah. But it just, I think seeing them, and I, I, you know, for disclosure's sake, I love the way that these what if figures do look. Me too. But it made me gutted for my Black Series. I was kind of like, why couldn't we get the Bad Batch figures like that? Why couldn't we get the, the Rebels figures like that? Because they would have just looked so good. Um, but yeah, so let's, to, to start, uh, T'Challa, Star Lord, um, what you thought? What, what did you think? I, I thought we so looked all right. People were taking the mick online and were saying, "Oh, why has he got um, three quarter trousers on?" And he hasn't. Their boots. There is boots yeah. that he's got on. Everyone, everyone on, <laughs> yeah. on Marvel UK, uh, on Marvel Community UK, was sort of saying stuff like, "Oh, why has he got these three quarter jeans?" I'm like, he really hasn't. <laughs> no, it just, is like, it's just, it's they're like boots. round boots with purple tips yeah. on them. They're very weird it's, looking, but that's what they are. He is. He's not it's set up to go to the beach. Like it's not. He's like, wearing <laughs> his, his board shorts. Um, I quite like the look of it though. Yes, I um, love the way he looks. And um, the face sculpt's actually pretty nice, actually. Yeah, um, I did. The fact that it's the fact that it is the final time we're going to hear, you know, um, uh, Chadwick, uh, Rose, Chadwick, yeah, Chadwick Boseman's Boseman's voice, yeah. playing the role as well. That's going to be quite quite sad in some Yeah. Way. So it's nice yeah. to have one last figure of him, should we say? I really hope that this portrayal of him is a good one, and it's not just mm-hmm. a kind of. A, a nothingy kind of part. I think it. I hope it's something quite good. Well, from what um, I understand, he's the main character of his story because it's it's instead of the Guardians of the Galaxy landing in um, America, they're landed in Wakanda. So they took yeah, T'Challa so, as a small kid instead of instead of um, Star Lord, as yeah. we know it. So it could be pretty. It could be a, pr- a pretty cool story with a new it'll be, soundtrack. I, and I think he's, you know, from what I've seen of him in interviews and stuff, he's quite, he was quite a comical guy. So I think he'll be able to play that, that role quite well. But would it even have, no, because ah, he's the, ah, he's a, he wouldn't even have a 70s soundtrack, would it? Because the 70s soundtrack came from the tape player that Star-Lord took off with yeah, him. Yeah. So. But he's, sh- surely he's still got some of his mannerisms from like Yondu and like yeah, the yeah. other Ravengers and stuff. So. I don't know. I don't. How is it gonna? It could be a completely different. I'd love it. I'd love to see if yeah, because obviously yeah, you got Yondu and stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't mm. think about Yondu. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and all the the other like Taser Face and all that lot. Mm. They're all gonna be there, aren't they? So yeah, it will be interesting to see. And I wonder how. I wonder whether he will end up with the other characters, like with the Guardians of the Galaxy, or whether it will be a completely different. Like direction, you know, that what happened to Star Lord if it was someone else, he wouldn't have actually ended up with Groot and Drax mm. and Rocket and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, so I suppose while we're on the Guardians trip, obviously we mentioned Sylvie, but the other one was uh, Nebula as well. Yeah, with blonde hair. With like a Marilyn Monroe styled, like <laughs> it literally looks like a fancy dress sort of wig. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. I don't know what her what if story actually is. I'm not sure whether she's just a part of the the the, the Charla one or what. But is it if, is it if Thanos never? I don't know. I don't want well, to say. <laughs> no, this is where my theories go because obviously the other character that we've seen that wasn't in the wave is um, Gamora right. as. Um, what did they call it? Like a Titan Gamora or something yeah. like that. And she's essentially the, in that. The, get the, up the daughter of Thanos, what they called it. That's it. Um, but this Nebula, if you look closely, she's not got any robotic parts. No. She's completely blue with her hair, like all fabulous looking. So if, I don't know. I don't know where this story is going to go. It was when the picture kind of came up on the screen, it was the only one that I was kind of like, whoa, <laughs> what, what is that? Like, mm. 
what have, what have they done? Have, what if Gamora grew hair? <laughs> so, uh, is the idea that maybe Thanos didn't, uh, is he not around or was he a nice person instead of something? And now Gamora is now the new, is now the new no Thanos idea. and Nebula never got all the done up because her father never did that to her and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the only thing it made me think, because she looks, she looks like stereotypically like a good guy because mm. of the light colored hair and she looks clean. Her hair's all kind of looks done, doesn't it? Like wavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you kind of go on that comic book logic, you know, if you've got a bad, bad person, a bad guy, bad girl, whatever, the hair's darker, the hair's rougher. You go for like a, a good guy, it's all wavy and supermodel looking. And so straight away, I thought well, she looks like a, a hero, a hero, a heroine or whatever. Um, mm. So is that, is that the, you know, is it going to be Gamora versus Nebula? Are they the good and bad elements of that story? So it'd be interesting to see where that goes. Um, next one was Captain Carter, which is, she's pretty much been the face, hasn't she, of, of what if. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I love um, Peggy Carter's character in the MCU. So I'm really pleased to sort of see this alternate yeah, version. Back. Yeah, um, I think yeah, she was the one that I was the most excited for. Yeah. Uh, when I saw that, when I saw that wave and her in the, in the, you know, Captain America style super, it's now obviously all got the British flags on it. That's yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It is pretty cool. Um, and the figure itself is bigger as well, didn't they? They showed us some side by side versions and, She's bigger, she's bulkier, so obviously she to because she's the super soldier serum. Yeah. So they've not just kind of just lumped her on a on a standard female buck, have they? They've they've given her a, a super soldier looking one. Um but the face as well, the face looks like um oh, her name's completely lost. Why do I do this? I need to write these things down. But it looks like the actress. Uh, it'll yes, come it to me in a minute. But it does look like her. It looks like, which I was quite surprised about because obviously the Chadwick Boseman one looks very animated. But then her one, you could almost pop it off and put it on one of the MCU mm -hmm. figures, you know? So well, that's, you, you could say the same about the Doctor Strange and the Spider Man. They're polar opposites as well. The, the Doctor Strange one actually looks like him. Spider Man looks yeah. nothing like. No. No. So the Captain Carter one, obviously, we, we're there. Let's say so Doctor Strange you mentioned there. So they've called him... Mm. What, Supreme. What he? He's the Doctor Supreme. Strange Supreme. Yeah. Now, he, interestingly, on the, the Marvel Legends, it doesn't... I don't know if it, it did on the fun car. I couldn't see quite clearly. But on the Marvel Legends, like he looks like he's had a rough time. Like He's got those bags under his eyes. He looks very like skeletal almost, like as if he's not eaten properly for, for a few weeks. Um, so he looks like he's seen some things. Like I've seen some things, man. <laughs> like he looks <laughs> like he's he's definitely uh yeah, definitely been through a few things. And from the looks of the trailer, he laces into it somehow. So Yeah, I I don't quite get the the Supreme bit because I I always thought Doctor Strange was the sorcerer supreme anyway. Yeah. So is there like a, a next level? So like Pokemon, well, I'm where wondering, like you is think it... you've evolved them, and, <laughs> and there's why have now I've got in my head you have not seen my final form. <laughs> like some anime. Yeah, it um, is. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe Wonder. I was thinking, oh, they're going to do a story with Wonder, and is it has he got her powers as well this time around? Because he's got maybe. a very, he's got a very red, his costume's very red and. He's got a lot of the elements yeah. from her, like the way the way the coat's done up and it's flowing at the bottom looks just like hers. So and I mean, the, the the cape as well from the images that they showed us for the Marvel Legends, the cape looks very detailed inside. Like it's it almost looks like it's got the window of the uh, the uh, oh, what's the building called the Sanctum Sanctum Sanctorum. So that's it. I was, I was for a second. I was like, "What the Sanctum House?" <laughs> it's just totally gone out of my head. But it looks like the window is like almost mm. in the cape, which I think it's just a very interesting design. I'm really excited to see how he ties into that story and what's going on. Um, and then, obviously, like you say, the the the, the Spider Man, like zombie. Oh, why has he got a cape? Zomb zombie, zombie hunter, hunter Spider Man. Spider -Man. Oh, well, but the he's cape, got Doctor Strange's cape. The cape. If you look at the collar, I believe that is Doctor Strange's cape. I believe that is the 
whatever it's called. I can never remember the name of the cape, but I think that is the, the cape original. Strange. Yeah, the original cape yeah. that he has with the big red collar and stuff. I think that's yeah. that. So, so Spider-Man's got and that. Spider-Man's killed him. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe that's why he looks all like... Him. Yeah. But, I mean, I think it was Hot Toys that released a, mm. a version of Spider-Man from uh, No Way Home. And he's kind of got that... Did you see the concept art for that kind of Doctor Strange looking Spider-Man? Yeah. And his web... His, his webs are coming out like the... Uh, the the, yeah, uh, the the the, the blah, 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 what they called the thingamajigs um, that he does yeah I know what you mean you know <laughs> the, little, the little wheels now I'm, it's been a long week it's been a long week but you know <laughs> but you can see those coming out of the web so I wonder whether that there's going to be something in that mm. that then ties into something that we see in the in the movie maybe uh, I know a lot of people have been saying they like that Spider-Man because if you take the cape off it it is basically the new Avengers campus Spider-Man from California they were the very parts. clever with that one they yeah, were very clever it with is that one. the new costume they've been using in California that yeah so and that's that just on. switching over to that you've seen you must have seen the clips and stuff of the the, yeah, the way fun. that they throw him up and <laughs> oh, it looks amazing it looks absolutely incredible but yeah one of the first things I thought was that oh, I need a figure of that that version of mm-hmm. spider-man and that's what they pretty much given us although like you pointed out the the head there was a lot of mixed opinions on the head looks nothing like it's no <laughs> it doesn't look anything like tom holland um but i don't know spider-man for me there's been so many versions of him like mm-hmm. even just in the comics how he's drawn and how he's depicted and stuff so I, it, it kind of, it looks like a Spider-Man to me. Like I don't look at it and sort of think, oh, it looks nothing like a Spider-Man. But it doesn't look like the Spider-Man that we've been seeing. To be fair, in live are, are any of the, are any of us going to actually have that head on display? Because no, of course not. not. No, I'm not, I don't think I'm even going to have the cape on him nine times out of ten. I think he's going to be a cartoon Spider-Man no. in my collection. I don't see me yeah. using the cape at all. No, That's it will like... be. I think <laughs> it will probably be pulled out for the odd photo or something like that to, mm-hmm. to, but then i don't know like i might watch that episode and be like wow this is amazing <laughs> keep that cape on you are incredible um so moving on from zombies then i guess obviously we knew that zombies were going to be in this mm-hmm. but it's a weird one because obviously marvel comics have done marvel zombies like that that was yep. a big thing in in marvel comics and it was a massive massive hit wasn't it and you know mm-hmm. people absolutely loved it and then we saw right early on when What If was teased, we saw the kind of zombies in it and everybody was like losing it because they were like, oh, they're going to do Marvel zombies. But then they said something interestingly on the, the live stream and they said yeah. they referenced Marvel zombies, didn't they? But they didn't yeah. say that this directly was Marvel zombies. What they said was this is d- um, different to the Marvel. A- they said as, as the Marvel universe has so many different variants and variations, this mm. version of zombies might not be the zombies you're basically used to. I think is what they were getting at. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm it's a new take on the Marvel see. Zombies, isn't it? Yeah, I'm interested to see what that story is. What that story is, and obviously, it needs to be kind of family friendly, and it needs to be Disney Plus availability. You know that mm. kids can watch it and stuff. But I'm, I'm just really curious. I thought it was a brilliant figure, though. Um, that Captain America, like, there's so many intricate bits of sculpt that mm. it was. I think if I had any criticism, I wish they kind of dirtied his foot up a little bit or put a bone sticking out because it looked a little bit too clean compared to like mm. the thigh that had a massive hole in it and, and all the rest of it. But I just thought it looked brilliant. And it, it just made me want more versions of the characters in zombie form. Give the customizers time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's no. all I'm gonna say. It won't it won't take long. It won't take long. I can't wait to get my hands on it just to see what parts can be repurposed and what parts that it, mm-hmm. it's there, there's gonna be some really cool customs coming out of that. But then by the time they start surfacing, that's probably when they'll announce the rest of the, the line anyway. Um and interestingly, are we going to see the other characters zombified or will it just be Captain America and like, you know, Joe Nobody's kind of thing? Yeah, they really seem reluctant to jump into the Marvel zombies thing. Obviously, it's Hasbro. We've, spread, we've said before, they have to be accessible to kids and families and zombies mm. aren't overly yeah. accessible. But kids out there these days are watching freaking Walking Dead and all sorts, so you never know. It's on Disney, like we said. It's under the Disney umbrella now, you know? And the annoying thing is, well, it's not really annoying, but I'm just saying the thing is that 
recently they were able to release the talking deadpool head which swore it which swore they also mm -hmm. released the deadpool action figures the the wolverine action figures the x-men and yeah. they all had the 16 plus sign on them yeah they, they could if they wanted to give us the proper marvel zombies and just shove them in that lineup of the easier adult collectible 16 plus only action figures yeah no definitely definitely but i think as a wave as a whole wave it was a really strong wave like that every single wave. one of them apart from nebula because i don't know enough about it i was like mm. yes i'll have all of those like yeah, I'm because I'm a I'm a sod these days for buying an entire wave and then going ah I'll sell that one I'll get rid of that one I might not keep that one and just yeah. keep a few that I like but I buy them for the baths and then mm -hmm. this series I was like no I want every single one of those <laughs> there's not a single yeah. one that I think to uh, uh, like one that I would get rid of they're all no. perfect no I, I'm the same um and obviously you already showed us your your happy pickup today your uh, your what is it called? the Hydra Stomper. And they also announced that in Marvel Legends that that was going to be a, a deluxe. Who the price of that bad boy? Yes. Was it sixty three ninety nine? It was high. I know that much. It was oh, definitely wow. high. Yeah, uh, but I still pre-ordered one. <laughs> yeah, it. but it's still there. The, th the thing that sold it to me was that when they held it up next to the um, Hulkbuster, mm -hmm. and it's literally shoulder to shoulder with the Hulkbuster. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the Hulkbuster figure, like that's a, it's a big. That's a big figure it is a big figure um yeah i mean it's so it's gonna be a big i knew that if i had nuts. captain carter i'm going to want the hydra stomper i just knew i, I knew that i'd regret not getting it no, and they they knew that they put on a little handle on the back and they yep. spent some good time going if you've got her and she clips on here yep. you need this guy it just made me think of uh the iron giant be honest yeah. with you remember that it was just that that was it's reminiscent of the iron giant but Big it was nice i liked <laughs> yes yeah 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 um but it was it was nice i like the backpack and i'm really excited to mm. see where where that goes you know a lot of accessories with as well all the little flame pieces and stuff like mm. that i'm guessing they're all in, yeah they're all included one and they, they, they really showed it off on that live and it does look really good and they've made it also com like backwards compatible with other effects as well that we've had there was yeah. like they said you know these are hollowed out and so I think they've they've taken the time. There's been a lot of criticism saying, "Oh, we've got the MCU Iron Monger figure coming in now, and it just looks like a repainted version of that." But I, I think there's more to it than that. I think that there's there's more tooling that's gone in, and they've well, spent they, some time on this one. It basically, in the story though, from what I understand, it basically is the Iron Monger. The Iron Monger and that are very similar costumes. Yeah, it's uh, it, well, we were steal... talking, weren't we, about? Didn't in the film like it's been so long since I've seen it now, but didn't they basically say that Iron Munger was something that it wasn't it was built by Stark's father or something anyway, or is designed by Stark? It was some there was something like that. Yeah, like the concept. Like stolen stolen yeah. plans or something along those lines. There was definitely it wasn't a completely original idea, was it? It was yeah, you know, so there's there was elements of it there that they can play off that it was yeah. it's the same suit just redone for a different time or yeah. with a world or but essentially, Mark One, the the Mark One Iron Man suit was a suit that he that was it was clunky and it was big and he was inside it, wasn't it? It was, and he, and he managed to build it in a cave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was uh, half dead, but, you know. <laughs> it, hey, don't ruin it. Don't, <laughs> don't don't pop the illusion. He built it in a cave, and that's what started the MCU. I love that. <laughs> It's it, it yeah it is comical it is comical. I had to explain that to my son he was like hang on so he just built <laughs> that in a cave yeah yeah, yeah. It, it's Iron it's Man it's like the right? A team when he turned up to some warehouse and they build some massive contraption you're like with with like it? yeah I was like look it's, it's the typical kind of look, look, he's Iron Man he's Tony Stark yeah, he can he do can that do it. it's all right can we do it no we're not Tony Stark it's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just it's that's his superpower he just can build stuff um. But I love it. I think it looks good. And I think that, you know, we were saying earlier, weren't we, that there had been that leaked footage of um, the sort of skinny Steve Rogers inside it. So essentially yeah. you're buying a Steve Rogers figure. From yeah, the what if. Obviously, obviously Steve Rogers, he, he, in that storyline, he never gets the super soldier serum. So he's still a weedy kid, but obviously he still wants to help win the war. So I'm guessing yeah. Howard Stark's going to build him the suit that he's going to eventually yeah. ride around in and help Captain Carter. Yeah. 
so yeah so i was quite pleased and i was pleased that they released them kind of all at once and sort of said look here's your here's your disney plus wave and here's your um here's your deluxe um, and yeah. what was interesting though is i i actually put something out on instagram um uh what earlier um yeah. and it was kind of what was left of the mcu this year so yeah. we've got um obviously what if coming out we've got shang chi and we've now seen figures for both of those but then after that you've got eternals which we've seen the the leaked figures from yeah. um but then after that you've got uh, miss marvel um coming out on disney plus so you've got figures potentially from that they're not gonna not do figures from that you've got hawkeye which again they're not gonna do uh, not gonna not do figures from that and then obviously the big one in december which is uh um spider-man so you've mm. still got kind of three lots of potential disney plus mcu figures waves to come out um before the end of the year you know or early next year i yeah. think that if I, if I was to hesitate, I guess, I think that Disney Wave 3, Disney Plus Wave 3 would be uh, your Miss Marvel, your Hawkeye, and then maybe backwards to, like, something from WandaVision that we didn't get or someone from Loki that we didn't get um, or even just the what if, the characters that we've not seen, like the Gamora, etc. I'd be holding out for a new Florence Pugh as well, hopefully. A new, uh, uh, below, below, the, what do you call it? Below, I could never sound so stupid uh, name. Uh, Lena yeah, Belova. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's gonna come at some point, isn't it? She's because, now uh, well now that we know that she's in the program properly. She's in, in Hawkeye, isn't she? So yeah. um I think it would be a missed opportunity not to. And I almost like we got with that Red Guardian figure, you know, we got that first version and then after the film had come out, we got that second one in the two pack. I think that mm. there's been so many criticisms on on the figure that, that we did get. I think that they're gonna release the kind of a, a better version yep. at some point so so that's my my predictions for wave three anyway but that wasn't all that we got was it they, they teased loads more wednesday so they got tigra no, see if i can remember them all tigra was was one of them that we'd seen the artwork haven't we for her i mm-hmm. think she looks brilliant and she's coming on the, the retro packaging yep. um we also got um binary as well uh don't know a huge amount of Me about either. the character um <laughs> it was I recognize her from comic books, but I couldn't tell you anything about her yet. So I'm going to have to go and do my research, but it looked like a nice figure. And I was kind of like, yeah, that's your, that's your kind of old school superhero looking superhero. Um, there was a, a tease to uh, the army builder one as well, that they're going to do another uh, hand ninja, but in yep. the, the kind of blackish greenish kind of costume with like the more zombie looking face. Mm-hmm. Which I think is quite good because the red hand ninjas are surprisingly hard to get now. Like they're they're ones that people are really struggling to get. I managed to get three of them at the time because they were the ones that came with the stilt man legs. So anyone that wanted to build yes. a, a big stilt man got more than one ninja. Um, and I think I think I picked up three. I'm gonna have to check now. Can't even see where I put them. They're somewhere. They're somewhere on my shelf. But I think I think I got three. Um, so yeah, so it'd be it'd be interesting. I always like an army builder though. Um, but what I thought was interesting is they showed us that one, but that wasn't the one that they teased a while back because they kind of teased the the shield agent, didn't they? Yeah, and they, they showed us the the prototype, but that's not been mentioned since. Uh, I wonder if I wonder if that's going to come out a later date for some another wave. I don't know what what wave could that that could be in, but it, it's going to be in another wave somewhere down the line, isn't it? Then that they're hardly going to release that as an exclusive or anything. It wouldn't sell. Well, they originally did the Shield Agent as part of, I think it was the Ant Man wave, mm. the Civil or Civil War wave, um, and it had the Nick Fury head, not the MCU Nick Fury, but obviously the comic book Nick Fury head, um, and then the helmeted head as well. So I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, that's cool. I think my biggest disappointment of what they showed was the uh, Spider Man Vulture. What did you make of that one? The vo- <laughs> cash in, cash in, cash in. I'm sorry. That's what that yeah, is. It's I, one of these new fancy deluxe figures that they're repackaging to sell us yet again. But I'm not buying one. <laughs> no, I the the figure, it looks like an upgrade. Definitely looks hmm, like well. an upgrade from what we got. I I'm disappointed that they're kind of releasing it with the bits of the armor that we didn't get. Because it kind of makes 
makes you kind of go, oh, my vulture doesn't have the the gauntlets and stuff like that. But I was disappointed because it was one of the few builder figures that I was really pleased to kind of complete. And mm-hmm. despite its flaws, I was kind of like, wow, this is a big piece of kit and it's really hard to kind of come by certain parts. And it's one that I actually, I'm pretty sure I got it when I was out in America. Um, yeah, it was because I was I went around to different stores and I actually managed to find all of the figures in various different stores. And it, there was a real sense of completion. And I was like, <laughs> yes, like this is, I've done it. Like I've completed it. I felt like Indiana Jones, but um, yeah. And so when I saw it packaged up, I was like, oh, that's, that's really quite disappointing. Mm-hmm. And I haven't felt like that about any of the others, like the Venom and all that kind of stuff. I was just kind of, that's cool that it's, they're giving us a. It's like, you just know in a month's time, we're going to get a, 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 another, another winter, you know, another Captain Falcon while the still can cash okay. on it and he's going to be yeah. in the box with the wings attached and it's we just i can tell they're going to do it yeah yeah where, it seems to be right. where it's going at the minute although there was two things that i picked up on that were that i thought was interesting so it was a target exclusive so that's not going to make it incredibly accessible to a lot of people because target that you know scalpers and whatnot yeah. um one of the most common things is that on in targets you know they're hard to come by these exclusives um and they really made a point of sort of saying, we don't know anything about the films. This is nothing to do with the new film. The box says homecoming. <laughs> this is nothing to do with the new film. But I just thought, this is everything to do with the new film. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to do with the new Spider-Man, but it's definitely something to do with Morbius. Because he's yeah. already been teased for Morbius, hasn't he? He's already yeah. been, he's, he's in the film. He's cast. We know he's yeah. in it. We just don't know what yeah. his role is playing, but it's, oh, it's obvious what role he's playing. <laughs> of course, of course. So I just thought it's like it's not a throwback to. So there's, there's definitely there's something happening where this character is going to be desired again. There's a need to re-release. So yeah. yeah, all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is coming out next month, uh, just as everyone's asking for it. So that's cool. But I didn't like the paint job particularly. I like the figure, but I didn't like the wings. That made sense. Mm. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll see what happens. I was not, I'll see I was not a fan of that figure when it first came out, to be honest. It was one of those ones that annoyed me because I'm so, I like when I like a bath figure. I love a good bath figure. I don't like it when they spread accessories out and call that a bath. It just it does no. nothing for me. It cheapens it. No. I think it, no. I know. The was... fact that those waves are usually the, like like the they tend to put a bit more of a price tag on that wave as well when they do stupid things like that, thinking it's going to sell. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think most collectors have the opposite opinion. No, and it was you know it was a similar setup, mm. wasn't it? The, the the wings were the builder figure. The actual figure of Vulture was part of the wave, um, and the wings, the builder figure was the pieces of wing. Um, yeah. But because it was kind of an original idea, I didn't complain too much, and it did create this huge. Unlike the uh, Captain America, the Sam Wilson version, yeah. which the wings were smaller, this really was a, a big piece. Um, so I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's uh, you know, I don't mind so much. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not too fussed. I'm, I'll see what it looks like when I've, I see it on the shelf somewhere. So while we were talking, I, I did a quick look up of binary. Go on so in. binary is when is Ka- is Carol Danvers. Oh, it's when she okay. gets full, it's when she gets full access to her powers. She becomes binary, or she transform. Uh, sorry, an experiment transformed her into binary uh, when she accessed her full powers during the time of the X Men. She ended up in space as captives That's... of an alien race called the Brood. Subjected yeah, yeah, to yeah. the subject to the to the X Men and Carol to the experiment, so they, they they experimented on her and basically it unlocked her full potential. Her DNA was was then infused with genes from the Kree and stuff, and she was transformed into binary, um, making her uh, more giving her more cosmic powers. And her transformation also uh, served as Carol's emotional connection to Earth and its people. She oh, remained right. in space as a member of the space pirate group called the Star Jammers during that time as well. That's where I've, I recognise her from. I've never then. read those comics in a thousand years. I don't remember this at all. The, the Star Jammers are just it. Take you saw Star Jammers in. Do you remember the animated X Men series? Yeah, they crossed over in that. So the Star Jammers came into that at one point, but they were just like a. I don't know. It was at the time. It, it was definitely in like the cosmicy kind of everything's in space. That's really cool. Um, they were just, it was just a crazy kind of, that's my memory of it was just, it was a very crazy storyline of these kind of, these pirate kind of people in space and 
it was fun it was a lot of fun but that's where i must have that's where i must remember from then like the x-men elements but i didn't realize it was carol danvers so that's bad on me i feel like a every day's a school day there you go i <laughs> did not did not even put two and two together but that is cool that is cool so she is now on my wish list <laughs> it's just <laughs> i'll add that to the want list um and i think that was it the only other thing that they did at the end they always do like a little tease didn't they um and it was the whole kind of they dwight said something about the, I'm gonna the admit, valor of faith i'm gonna admit I, I didn't even catch that bit. Um, Did you not? One, no, I I caught up with it later on. I was watching the stream. Once the What If stuff launched, I already had the Lego stuff done. I had the Funko stuff done. As soon as that Marvel Legends pic just came out, and I had I got an email from one, from my connection at Hasbro, and they sent all the pictures through, and I was like, right, video time. Log off. <laughs> Turn yeah. off the live stream, and I literally had a video online the moment the live stream ended. <laughs> amazing well done so yes yeah, well so i was done. like I, I caught up on the rest of it the emperor I, I never saw the tease so what did they no. say to us at the end of this one so he said that it was bizarre because he you kind of saw him hold something at the bottom you couldn't quite work out what it was and then uh he, they were talking about um it, it almost sounded like a you know talking about everyone being respectful of each other and mm. stuff like that but the three main words that he said in his little speech were valor uh, valor faith and respect and then obviously if you flip them round to fear, doubt and um, hate, then that <laughs> lines up to Psycho Man from Fantastic Four. Because uh, okay. he has his little box with the, the words on the side and that. So I think that it was a tease to Psycho Man being part of the Fantastic Four wave or the, the, um, the, the retro wave that they're going to do, or maybe even a builder figure if they do, maybe they're not going to do the Fantastic Four wave on retro cards and they're going to do them in actual packages and Psycho Man's going to be the builder figure. Who knows? But that was that was what I took from it. So I might be completely wrong, but it seemed too it seemed too precise to, to yeah. not be Psycho Man. So that's that's to my be, guess anyway. Dan Yun, to be fair, he's the guy that puts things in the background of his videos that later on we'll see get released. Like when he did the X-Men, he had them the vintage X-Men in the background on his cabinet on one of the videos, and then they released all those card backs for the X-Men. Yeah. You know, see, he, he, he does like to leave you down, like lead you down the trail. But and Ryan does it as well. So yeah, in, in, well. on his one today... Uh, on his one on Wednesday, the, the big thing that people picked out was that they had the classic Hawkeye figure from mm. like the Toy Biz days, or um, it was the one that came, was it Toy Biz, where he came with his little like scooter thing as well. Mm. So that was in the background and everyone was kind of picking up on that. But personally, I just think that's a hint towards the Hawkeye TV show figures coming at some point. That that was what I took from it. But yeah, but I think that was it for the Marvel way, Marvel stream i don't think there was anything else just checking nope. i didn't write anything else down but there yeah was that was, I mean, there was the two extra figures at the end there was the big deluxe fig there was the big the, there was the deluxe spider-man vulture fig and then there was the main wave that was yeah. it it was but it was a really jam-packed live like live stream mm. like it was like one of these ones where you could almost hear the wallets kind of going no more <laughs> stop <laughs> stop there but um but yeah i was pleased i was pleased and i think that's gonna hopefully that's going to keep it quiet until oh, you've got Hascon, haven't you? Hasbro PulseCon coming up soon as well. So, Do you think that, because obviously we've had the new Hercules announced and then we've had mm -hmm. that Tiger announced both in the same style of card box. Do you think there's going to be two more figures to complete that series? I think so. What does Binary come on? Does she come on one as well or is she in a box? I think, oh, I don't know. They didn't really say anything if Binary was coming in a box. They didn't show any packaging, I don't think let me oh, look at remember. Oh, hang on let me look at some listings good uh, good that's a good question <laughs> no, yeah she comes in a regular box, box. she's coming yeah. in a regular box just it's a yellow and red box she was i think she was walgreens exclusive yes walgreens. yeah walgreens exclusive um so yeah no i think i think we're gonna see good. some more mm. yeah i think we're gonna see some more um just because those retro, that card that they used on Hercules and, and uh, Tigra, originally they were like a six six figure wave, weren't they? We had two waves yeah. like that in, in in on those cards. So if this is like a third retro wave, but then they did then they did the X Men ones and they came in groups of four. Isn't that That's true? So that I'm wondering true. whether they're going to wonder whether they're going to continue that so kind of because the archive wave for Black Series comes in sets of four as well. 
So I wondered whether the thought six was too many and they've reduced it to four to match the archive kind of wave. People know that that's like yeah, the possibly. Mm. Possibly. Because obviously the Doom that we got as well came on a retro card back that had the white and blue Fantastic Four costumes. Logos and that's like, when yeah. everyone was saying, yeah, they were all saying, oh, everyone was saying that's, that's a hint. And obviously now we've seen the rendering, so we know that it is going to happen. So whether they will come on, card back. yeah, they're going to come on card back definitely. Not you reckon? Yeah, no. I think they're coming on card backs, and I don't think there's going to be a bath figure with that wave on. If my own, all honesty, to be fair, not if they come on the retro cards. They don't need to. It's they're going to sell. However, you could literally put them in in the little kind of builder figure uh, in the little army builder boxes, and they would sell. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're 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 so sought after those Fantastic Four characters that that they'll sell even if you just put them in a jiffy bag. <laughs> like, I still want because uh, I for me the uh, an archive wave of them should be the ones that come you know with the old school cartoon in the very pale blue. Yeah, the four yeah. in the circle. I want that as like a, a retro wave at some point. Yeah, yeah, that would look, that'd look quite cool. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely go for that. I I still want the the future Foundation suit. So they're the ones I'm holding out for. <laughs> I've got my customs and they've sat on my shelf for a couple of years now, but I'm still crossing my fingers for a, an official future foundation kind of wave. That would be, that would make me up. But yeah, I think to answer your question, I think that we're definitely going to see a couple more. Um, Cause I don't think there's been a release date yet for either of the Hercules or the They're both up for pre-order, but there's not a sort of a date as far as I can see. Mm. But then if they are up for pre-order, then that implies that they're not part of a bigger wave because there's always a variation in price, isn't there, if you buy the whole wave or if you buy a single figure. So you couldn't pre-order the card. From what I remember, you couldn't you couldn't pre-order them last time. Like I remember I pre-ordered all my X-Men ones individually. Oh, right, they didn't okay. come they didn't come together as far as I remember when we pre-ordered them. Hercules has got a date for October 2021. And Tiger. Is November December 2021, so different release dates, okay. but not too far apart. Mm. I just so I just wondered whether the they probably won't come together. They probably all get released individually, but I I was wondering whether there were going to be two more that'll like complete that set almost. Mm. I think the thing about that particular look is that some collectors are so like they keep them in those boxes to mm-hmm. display them in those boxes, so they could literally drop one one a month like as a one off, and people would buy them to go with their set wouldn't they i always wish and i keep i've, I've suggested this so many times on like when when hasbro send those because i've got a contact at hasbro and stuff who messages me for products and stuff and they always mm. ask you on occasion they'll say you know have you got have you got any feedback for the hasbro group and i've said so yeah. many times when you make those card backs is there no way they could make it so the front can clip off and clip back on so you don't have to rip yeah. your card backs yeah because you do Cause, don't you? you yeah you either open them or close them <laughs> you, mm-hmm. you open them or you yeah that's a really good point. And a lot of the custom boxes as well. I know there's a lot of companies out there that create the custom boxes, more so for the Star Wars figures and the Star Wars yeah. customs and stuff. But they do it. It's easy enough to do. Like the, yeah. the technology is out there, um, which is, you know, I wonder whether it's something to do with being retail and thieving and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, speaking of retail, though, one thing I've got to admit is that I went into Smith's earlier this week mm. and I was pleasantly surprised by their Marvel Legends line. But they had quite a few in. Smiths, I think, have cottoned on to the fact that kids don't buy toys anymore. It's us grown adults. So and they're yeah. now catering for it. Because that, <laughs> if you go down the, the boys' toy aisle, if you will, it is literally just Star Wars, Marvel, Jurassic Park. It's all the major franchises in our life. Oh, line. I know. I know. Then there's like He-Man, there's Alien, there's Predator. There's like literally, really- it's all of the stuff, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised by how much... Um, but how how much how many Marvel Legends are available on the shelf? Um, obviously, they're all ones that I'd already picked up That's by other people and stuff. Because, but... because we're so used to pre-ordering now, you'd never rely on to get them in. So I mean, no. it's just one of them things no. where it's nice to see. It's nice to get them because sometimes they do put put them on offer quite regularly because they can't get rid of them usually. So I mean, yeah. it's good to pick to be able to pick up duplicates for obviously customs when they drop in price. It's a good place mm-hmm. to go for fodder, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I am. Um... Well, speaking of which as well, on the Black Series front, I saw that uh, Bo-Katan got dropped in price at Smith's like mm-hmm. massively down to about a tenner, wasn't it? Um, yep. Which shocked me. So I'm sure they won't stay on the sh- shelves too long. And I saw the He-Man from the new yes, Netflix Revolution. show. I saw the He-Man figure there 
Um, and it prompted me to start watching it because I hadn't when we had spoken. And uh, have you watched any of it yet? Not yet. I need, I'm, I'm sitting down tomorrow to watch it. Is it any oh, good? I love it. I love it. I'm not going to lie. I, without spoiling anything, because I won't give any of it away, but it feels like it just picked up where the last one left off. And there's there's something about the animation style, especially the opening of the first episode. It feels like it's almost, it continues on from what I saw. Mm-hmm. Like it's reminiscent of a lot of the toy packaging and the, the adverts that we had on telly and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it was just enough that I was kind of, okay, I'm going to give this a chance. And I, I love it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, <laughs> I'll hold my hand up and say I'm enjoying it. It's, I'm not binge watching it. I'm watching it at a pace, but yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's decent. It's, it's definitely decent and a totally different because He-Man was so basic back in the day. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It really was basic. Um, and there's so many more levels to this and so much more depth to it, but it's, yeah, it's good. If you're a fan of He-Man at any point, I, I think it's hard to not like it, to be fair. Yeah. Have you been into a game store recently? Uh, not for a few weeks, to be fair. Um, I used to work in game, bizarrely <laughs> enough. I used to be a deputy manager in there many moons a year, <laughs> many moons ago. Um, and I'm so annoyed now that they do such a huge action figure range because when I worked there, they did. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's funny because, and what, I was talking to, again, it's, just, it's one of them, I, I told you, know, I, sp- I spoke to a guy in a store, so take it with a pinch of salt, but they, he, did, he did very much say that they have a lot of stock coming in that is not game-based anymore. It's, they've got mm. a lot of action figures, pop vinyls are coming in left, right, and center, and they're getting, yeah. more, they're getting more lines, like, like, like they've just got Lego, apparently, is going to be coming in store now. My, so, my one's got a load of Lego in it. The, yeah. the one local to me has got a huge section of Lego already. And um, he sort of agreed with me when I said that I think that game is going to slowly get rid of all the boxed up versions of games because nobody buys boxed games anymore. Everyone pays digital these days usually. So I think they're going to slowly do away with all the game boxes they've got and just fill those aisles with pops yeah. and action figures and collectibles yeah. and then have all the games in digital behind the counter. It's the same as like HMV, you know, HMV now, you know, you go in there, there is as much merchandise in that shop as there is music, you know, and it's, they've, they've clearly listened to what people go in stores to look for because on the same thread, you know, I don't, I don't Mm -hmm. go into a store to look for music anymore. I download it, I stream it, et cetera. Um, But yeah, I'll go into HMV to look at the merchandise, to look at the t-shirts, the posters, the figures, the Mm -hmm. pops, the mugs, you know, that kind of stuff. So I think that, it's quite nice to see that these kind of high street shops are kind of catering for that, yeah, that market. So, and Smiths yeah, are accepting uh, more and more lines every day. Every time I go in, there's something new in there, like the the He Man stuff that randomly pop that have come out now. Like they've got all the all the retro card back ones, all the Revolution mm-hmm. series are now in store. So it seems cool. And then they're getting all those weird Lannard toys re- releasing Predator and Alien, and they've got all them in. And it's no yeah. longer just a kids' toy store. They've got quite a few bits that are in there that would that, you know. K- K for the adult collector as well yeah definitely well my only request with smiths is that they kind of sort out their display model yeah. and they just make it a little bit more clean so that i know that this is my it, they're attempting it but it's just like mm-hmm. you say i literally saw these he-man figures like sandwiched between i think it was like dragon ball z and <laughs> toy story or something like that it was a, a, really a mine, random minor sandwich between five nights at freddy's and toy story there you go <laughs> <laughs> well at least they're next to toy story in both so but yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with this week. I think there's been a lot going on. Oh, and I did catch up on Monsters at Work by your requ- yeah. by your uh, suggestion, and we're loving it. We are loving it. We're, it. we're religiously watching it as it comes <laughs> out. It's very good, very good. Nice, nice continue continuation of the story, isn't yeah. it? It flows very nicely. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely our favourite pick of television at the moment. The last piece of news for this week, though, did you see uh, Brie Larson showing off her strength training for Captain Marvel 2? And they gave away I the didn't. title of the film. They're the Marvels, isn't it? The Marvels! Oh, yeah. I've been laughing so much at this. So it is now officially called Marvel Studios Presents Captain Marvel 2 The Marvels. How many times can you it's, get the word Marvel in one sentence? It's actually called Captain Marvel 2 The Marvels. Yeah, I believe wow. they're going to stylize it as the Marvels, but written yeah. all over the internet right now is the words Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, because they've stylized the Brilliant. two as an S at the end to make it the Marvels. Of course. But yeah. yeah, 
It's just stupid. Yeah. I, well, I saw the artwork a little while back where they had um, obviously Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and um, Monica Rambeau's kind of symbol as mm. well, and they used all of them. Is that if they stuck with that look yes. to it? Yes. Yeah. I think it's uh, yeah. I think it's going to be an interesting film. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I just there isn't any MCU film that comes out that I just kind of think. Oh no, I'm not bothered about that. Like I'm excited for. You hopefully know, we'll see some to... more. Hopefully we'll see some more of um, Nick Fury in space because he's obviously up there with them somewhere. That's where oh, we yeah. left him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sword is definitely going to become a big part. They're going to kind of take over where Shield left off, aren't they? So. Yeah, it's. I, I suppose as well. There was the other big bit of news was uh, Scarlett Johansson's whole lawsuit. Did you catch up on that? Oh yeah, that if was, you, that if was she quite wasn't big, wasn't it? If she wasn't dead before, she's dead now. Yeah, I uh, see. I was on the fence mouse. really because no, 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 not ever. But when I first heard it, I was kind of like, "Oh come on! Like, how much money have you made from that film?" But then when I actually looked into it, and I was like. Actually, regardless of how much money she's made, the contract was the contract. Yeah. And I kind of, I totally get where she's coming from, but I think yeah, you're not playing final, that character again. This was her final payday, wasn't it? I think that film was her final payday and cash out. And I think obviously she's yeah. got less than what she was expecting. So she's lost her in. No, yeah, yeah exactly. Like but no. it just, it, instantly I could hear that South Park Mickey Mouse voice in my head the moment yeah. I read it. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? You, you think yeah. you're doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> it made me cough. <laughs> you it can is just really hear that. It? It is true. That's why I say if she if she isn't dead, she's dead now. <laughs> yeah, that she character was written now. off. Can you imagine when that how the lawsuit comes in? The script is like, nope, nope. <laughs> I imagine uh, that I imagine the lawsuit came in and Florence Pugh's contract got signed for longer on the other. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. She's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I am still excited to see where they go with those. I really am. <laughs> but yeah, but I think there wasn't much else new, like much other news, was there? Toy wise, I mean, no. The, the only other thing that is... kind of, the only other big thing that broke the internet this week a little bit was I know you I know you're not into your, your uh, main horror, but I know you've mentioned it before that you do like your Chucky, and obviously the yeah, yeah. Uh, TV series got its trailer this week. Oh, I've not seen and, that. Oh, it looks good. So they've kind yeah. of gone. They've kind yeah. So it's it's a continuation of Child's Play. They're, they're they're gonna make a TV series out of it. It's all set during the Halloween period, which is awesome. It comes out this brilliant. October and it looks brilliant. And the fact that they've got is it Brad Brad Dorf, is he called? They've got him back to do the voice, so perfect for me. Awesome. I just for me it all just kind of went in the mix for a little bit when they kind of reimagined it. And yes. that film came out where they reimagined it, and I was kind of like I didn't keep, mind it. They keep hinting Brad Dorf and Mark Hamill have both hinted that they would like to make a film where the Chuckies go toe-to-toe, where our Chucky that we know goes up against the new robot Chucky. That would be awesome. That would be cool. Stay away from my kid. It's my kid, (laughs) (laughs) Molly. Yeah, that would be very cool. Um, Yeah, I just... It was one of them films that just... It just scarred me as a kid. Do you know what I mean? I just... It just... It ruined certain parts of my childhood because i was like what the f- actual fuck like excuse my <laughs> language but that was it and um yeah and then and there was the whole thing wasn't there i think it was child's play 2 like it was like yeah it's been banned like blockbuster <laughs> have taken it off the shelf and it was like and then so when they kind of came out and they were like oh yeah it's a robot i was like oh no like come on mm. let's let's scar some more children no, let's <laughs> let's do to this generation what the other one did to us but i well, enjoyed because, it but because I'm i was glad uh, that they're going back yeah, this is where I think our age difference a little bit differs a little bit because I grew up, I didn't watch Child's Play until I was already a late teenager. I grew uh. up with, obviously, Bride of Chucky was the big thing when I was a kid. So I grew up with, which we call him when Chucky was a little bit kinder, a little bit softer. <laughs> I grew up with Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky and Cult of Chucky, you know, the weird films that, we, that people don't like to talk about. Just, I grew yeah. up with those ones that were a bit more comical rather than scary. Yeah. But the, I mean, looking back though, even though that you know they are horror films, they are comical to watch back. Like you, oh, yeah. you watch them back now, and you're like, "How was I ever? How did this ever scare anybody?" Like it's it's an absolute joke. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, the new so television series looks interesting. Mm. I'm glad that they're going down that route. So that'll be. I'm going to definitely go and watch that trailer when I come off this. But um, oh no, interesting. Cool. Well, I don't. I don't think there was anything else. Nope. That was kind of it. 
No, it's been it's a heavy week. There was a lot that came out. Very Marvel to look forward to. Yeah, massively. Um, obviously, we're going into August now. So August has got um, that whole Infinity Saga wave is due to drop in August, as well as the Haslab Sentinel, um, as well as a whole bunch of other Black Series and Marvel Legends. So August is looking to be on my calendar. It was kind of, that's the big, the big heavy month was August. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be an interesting week ahead, without and, doubt. Uh, month and ahead. the fact that, and the fact that on Twitter, all the guys were, all the guys from like you know Dan Young and that, and that, they were all saying August is going to be a good month. Don't mm-hmm. don't forget to tune in in August, guys. They kept pl- saying that, so they've got something yeah. to drop in the coming weeks. Hundred percent, hundred percent. When um, is the Hascon? Is that this month as well, or is that next month? I think it's August. Yeah, yeah. I think Hascon's coming up in a few weeks, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to have to check that. So, I think it is August. It's all just kind of blended into one the last few weeks, to be honest with you. I can't we believe how we're it. in August already. We might have to do a special podcast for that one and do a special episode all about Hascon. I think that's going to need its own... That's right. It's going to need its own show, its that own... Week, isn't it? Yeah, it's going, to, it's going to take over, isn't it? So, all right, Israel. Well, I think if that's, if that's everything, I think I can't hmm. think of anything else this week. Um, no, that's, yeah, that's so... No, so obviously... Let's round it up. Let's round it up. Um, obviously, if you have enjoyed the show, thanks very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of those things. Do check the links below for Super Sorrel's channel. Do go and give him a follow if you don't already. The guy is incredible and punches out a load of different content about a load of different things. Um, so, yeah, until next time, till next week, keep it geek. Keep it geek.